there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today we are going to review Concord. I know that this is a game that has divided the internet with its reception, but if I'm being honest about Concord right now, I did not actually buy the full game in this review. This review will be based on my experience from the Concord open beta which happened one month before the upload of this video. And since I'm an Overwatch player, I have some thoughts on it. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? And this review is going to be different compared to my other reviews, since there isn't a lot to talk about with Concord, since I'm making the structure different for one review only by having two sections being the positives and the negatives. So with that being said, let's get into the review. Starting off with the positives, the gameplay is exactly what you'd expect it to be. A Vi V5 shooter like Overwatch. But I feel like some of the gameplay modes were ripped from Overwatch, such as Elimination Mode and Capture Mode. While the modes Concord provide are just fine, it doesn't really do anything new, considering that Overwatch is my personal main 5v5 shooter game. And most of the free runners in this game were very difficult to master, but in terms of characterization, none of them were relatable, unlike the heroes in Overwatch. But we'll get to that in the negatives part. But Concord does have one feature that Overwatch does not. All of the characters having the ability to sprint. This is a good thing for competitive players because Overwatch's biggest problem mainly lies in the lack of faster traversal modes within its characters. Since most shooting games have sprinting, Overwatch doesn't. The graphics and the UI design look really good but I feel like realism in games is a bit overused in modern day gaming, which makes the game lack a sense of identity. Shooting games like Overwatch 2 and Valorant have a more cartoony art style, which is good because it gives the two games a sense of identity by having a different art style that sets them apart, and the UI design is very thought out as well. When I played the open beta, like a month ago, there was no sign of microtransactions, which is a good thing, because most modern shooters tend to have microtransactions, but Concord does not, which is a big positive for the game. Being able to have the complete experience instead of having microtransactions in there so you can pay for cosmetics because i feel like microtransactions in modern day gaming is a bit overdone with all the positives out of the way now we're moving on to the negatives the negatives i have with concord is that the pre-match cutscene takes up too much time of the gameplay especially since the pre-match cutscenes are unskippable since some players may want to have a quick match of Concord before they carry on with their day. And I could see the pre-match cutscenes being a big issue within the future of Concord, only because it takes up too much time, which I think is going to be frustrating for quite a few people playing it. The lack of things to do outside of the online, especially for a paid game, is another big issue with the game because I feel like mandatory online in some games isn't a good thing for preservation because unfortunately we have had multiple games in recent years do this the wrong way. Unfortunately Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League which came out earlier this year wasn't really a good game at all and that game was mandatory online and marvel's the avengers which online servers are not up anymore did it wrong as well and i think having an 
offline mode in Kong Kong should have really been an option. But it is a good job that the game isn't $70. Because then the score I'm giving Kong Kong at the end of the video would have been lower than it already is. And not everyone is going to be interested in competitive play. And while an offline or solo mode would have been nice i just feel like there's nothing a part of the game if the servers of concord eventually go offline because i don't think the servers are going to last forever and i think having an offline mode as an option would have made the game better another big flaw i have with concord is the characterization unlike overwatch which does a great job at its characterization with some of them going on to be fan favorites within the overwatch community i feel like concord doesn't really do a good job at characterization like overwatch does the reason for this is because the characters lack mental qualities and backstory that actually makes me care or become invested with a particular character and in terms of how each one plays out in the game each character in the game is very difficult to master with one off being the only character that is an exception i just feel like the characters from concord are not going to leave a mark like other playstation characters like kratos ratchet and clank sackboy nathan drake or even Sly Cooper, since those are characters I find more memorable than the roster of Concord. And as the debut game of Firewalk Studios, I don't feel like the characterization has hit the mark. After playing the Concord open beta from the perspective of an Overwatch player, I just have mixed feelings for this game in general. It's not a bad game, but it is a game I feel mixed on. While I do have more good to say than bad, I just feel like that Concord is a game I don't see many people sticking around with. I don't recommend paying to own this. I either recommend borrowing the game from a friend or just waiting until it's available as a title on PlayStation Plus. And that's why I give Concord the play then sell perk. And overall, I give Concord a 6 out of 10. Concord isn't a bad game, but from my experience with the open beta, it feels like it didn't provide enough to the game in terms of content or replay volume for me to actually purchase the full game. And while Overwatch 2 is my favorite 5v5 shooter on market right now, I feel like Concord doesn't quite hit the mark like Overwatch did. And that's why I recommend waiting until this is a free monthly game on PlayStation Plus instead of buying it. Since personally, I don't recommend paying to own a live Surface game because we don't know how long the servers of Concord are going to last. So guys, what did you think of my review of Concord? After all, it is better than the Borderlands movie, but I don't really consider Concord a great game. And next week in BB-8 House Reviews is actually going to be good. And it's a retro review of Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Since I will be playing both Bowser's Inside Story and Partners in Time in Build Up to Brothership. And since I'm not far off from beating Bowser's Inside Story, next week will be my review of Bowser's Inside Story. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8, out. <laughs>